Hi, I'm Aaron. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate in using Adobe Photoshop. I mean, it's primarily for like photo editing, things like that, and, that, and also drawing. But um, I think a lot of people don't realize that you can actually animate within the, the, within the timeline. I've opened up a, a hit file new, and I'm going to select web. And from here, um, I'm going to hit view all presets, and I'm just going to hit web small, which is 2080 by 872 PPI. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to uncheck artboard. And I am going to hit OK, create. All right, so I am in the Essentials workspace right now, and I need to change that to uh to motion so I'm gonna click here in the upper right hand corner and go down to motion and you should see something that looks like this where it says create video timeline if it says something different you can click right here on this little triangular shaped icon and you have you may have create um, frame animation but we want create video timeline and then just click right here if you accidentally click the wrong thing you can go down here to the bottom left part of the timeline right here these little boxes here if you I'm gonna click there to show you what it looks like this would be the frame by frame timeline if it looks like that just click right here you will see this icon right here okay so from here um, the first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the the little workspace here I'm assuming you know all the rest of this uh, Photoshop stuff um, or at least have a general idea uh, so right here you'll see this says this is the timeline uh, the timeline panel and you have the play you know stop and things like that that you can act you can use right here you'll see these there's a little mountain and a big mountain that's how I zoom in to see my timeline a lot better so I can click here drag that over and you can see right now it is at at a five second timeline so if you want to change that because actually we want to change that we are going to go with a do a one second animation and so this doesn't take too much time all right so you see this little bar right here if I hover my cursor over it, it says set end of work area okay so if I want to ex bring that in I can bring that down to one second but if I want to extend it it won't allow me to go further but I can click right here on my layer and I can extend that frame and then it goes along with it so if I need to extend it I can do it that way but I want to shorten it so I'm just gonna grab that top thing slide in and drop that off at one second alright this didn't go in with me so I gotta go back to my layer and I gotta bring that in as well I mean, it, it will play, but it won't continue. Like, if this is out further and I bring this in, it's going to continue to play. If I hit the play button, it'll go right. It'll just stay here, but it won't go It won't go past that line. So I definitely don't need that. So I'm just going to hit stop. Okay, so now we have a one-second timeline. I'm going to increase the size of this so we can see it better. And you can see if right now it's set for... 30 frames per second and we want to change that um, we're actually going to set this up to go 20 go 12 frames per second all right so I'm going to click in my flyout menu here in the timeline panel and I'm going to go down to set timeline frame rate and I'm going to release okay so from here I am going to change that to 20 to 12 I mean normally I, I believe for like movies and things it's like 29.9 something or another but roughly 30 frames per second and with animation it's often 24 frames per second um, but we're gonna do that half because a lot of times when you animate you can do it you know you can do 12 frames per second it looks fine 12 frames per second um, is half the work that we'll need for 24 frames per second so that's what we're going with 12 frames per second okay so I'm gonna hit OK here and I'm gonna zoom back in now we have you can see right here it says one frame I mean one second that is the zero zero that's one and then that's the yeah so and then we each between in the second you'll see one frame frame one frame two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve would land on the one second mark okay so this is uh, 
is a um, a regular timeline. I mean, is a regular layer. Um, and I'm going to show you what, how it, it differs from a video a video timeline or video layer, but you can animate with both of them. They just behave a little bit differently. Okay, but we'll get back to that. All right, so this first layer, I'm going to double click on that. And whoops, I need to go over to my layers panel. I'm going to double click and I'm just going to label that background. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to animate a, a ball bouncing across the screen. Okay, all right, so in order to do that, I'm gonna this is gonna be the background and we I'm gonna draw the ground. Alright, so for my I need to use my brush tool, so I'm gonna click on the brush tool and I'm just gonna just so if you want the same brush that I'm using, any brush will do that makes a, a decent mark. Um, but I'm gonna go to the soft round. Uh, and mine is down here. Actually I'm gonna close that up because I have a bunch of different a lot of different brushes here but right here this is one of the preloaded default brushes or so I believe this is you should be able to get to this one and I'm gonna select that alright so I can make the changes to the size and the hardness here but I'm just gonna click away up in, in this gray area here and I like to change the size using the bracket keys the left and right bracket the left bracket makes it smaller the right bracket makes it larger okay and right now, mine is set, the opacity is 100% and the flow is at 100%. But you can see it's drawing like this because I'm not using a mouse. I'm using a, a Wacom tablet, so it's pressure sensitive. So it really doesn't matter. But again, just make sure, like if I do this with a mouse, you'll see it's just a lot darker. Okay, it, it, it loses that pressure sensitivity. So anyway, I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to select all and I'm going to go edit fill with white and it's already set to white so I'm just gonna hit OK and I need to select deselect okay so now I, I need a bit of a guide here so I am going to make a new layer and I'm just gonna call this guide and you'll notice this new layer came in on my uh, slider here so I just need to drag that over and I'll drag that actually I don't need to drag this over at this point I'll just click and drag this over alright but I'm gonna move that over anyway okay so this is gonna be my guide we're gonna have a ball and it's gonna come in from this well I, I forgot one step I on my background layer I'm gonna click on my background layer we need to draw a line and that's gonna be the ground and you can see the ground is kinda bumpy I want a perfectly straight line so I'm gonna hit command Z and undo that now I'm gonna hold the shift key and drag all the way across um, and just one quick thing I want to point out I'm working in Photoshop 2019 and one wonderful thing that they do is I can hit command Z command Z command Z command Z and it undoes I don't have to use the history panel and I don't have to use that funky command option Z to go backwards so just just a little quick tip there okay so this is my background all right, so that's the ground. Now I'm going to switch to my guide layer. And this is just to show I want the ball to come in here, bounce, and come out over there. Okay, so I'm just going to divide this up a little bit um, because if because of the timing, I just want it to go. So at the six second mark, I'm just going to, or the six frame, I'm going to put six here. And then this is going to be 12 and this is going to be zero I guess that will be three one two three four five and twelve so six there's the halfway mark six seven eight and then nine hang on six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so that is the marking that I wanted to have hmm I'm trying to think because I want it to go a little look like it's going a little faster right here um, because it, it'll be bouncing off of the ground whereas the closer the lines are the slower it's gonna go the farther a line the farther apart the lines are the farther they'll appear then you know the motion will appear so I'm gonna hit on uh oh what did I just do edit redo okay well we'll just put that there hang on I'm just gonna erase these rather than try to undo it I'm just using my lasso tool delete deselect 
and I'm going to go back to my brush tool. I'm just going to tap the B key. And there we go. And there's the halfway mark. And one, whoops, I already said that. Hang on, that's going to be my halfway mark. So one, two, and then these are going to, the ball is going to start to slow down. Okay. All right. So let's see now time to start animating although right now you see here when I added this new layer it went way out of line okay so what I can do is I can to in order to fix that I can grab this here I can hover, you know hover my cursor over that end and you see I get that little point and I can shorten the timeline that way or another way is I can split that timeline if I move my the playhead right here that's what this little thing will do right these scissors here will split the timeline at the playhead I can also find that here where it's split at playhead and now I'm just gonna click on that layer and delete it alright and you can see it closed everything up okay so now I'm back down to one second you can see by the checkerboard pattern there's nothing here behind my drawing my guide drawing and the background has a white you know it's a white background um, just so this doesn't stand out quite so much I'm gonna drop the opacity so I'm gonna move over here to the right in my layers panel and I'm gonna drop that opacity down to eh, it looks pretty good uh, 30 about 30 percent but it doesn't matter it's up to you I mean if you prefer it at hundred percent that's fine I just prefer to for it to not be in my face okay so one of the things that I said is there are two different types of timelines here or two different types of layers um, and I'll show you how that works so I'm gonna make a new blank layer again and I'm gonna hit OK and well I need to move that guy over again and I need to split it at the playhead again and I'm just gonna delete it alright I just tap the delete key whoops that still went over too far split it playhead with the scissors whoops okay maybe I'm not selected on the layer for some reason this doesn't want to help me out here so I'm gonna go split it playhead see if that makes a difference nope we'll just drag it in <laughs> okay alright no idea of my is there anything sitting on my keys no okay Okay, so Okay, so now what I want to do here is is I'm going to draw the ball. Okay, but first before I do that, I just want to show you the difference between the two lines. I'm going to double click here. I'm going to move over to my layers panel. I'm going to double click there and label that. And I'm going to hit reg you reg if I can spell. I'll just put reg <laughs> reg timeline enter okay now if I want something okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you right here if I click right click here there's this thing called onion skinning and what onion skinning is going to do is say if I'm I'm just gonna draw and delete this real quick but I'm just gonna draw this out freehand so say if I'm animating and I draw a, f a ball here on frame three and then I move over to the next frame and I'm on four but when I appear on four when I move to four this frame is still going to appear there but it's going to be lightly faded and that's just good so it helps me position to see where the you know where I'm going to make sure I'm not changing like when I draw this shape of the circle this one's a little bit bigger if I have that onion skin I can you know trim the size down to that a little bit okay so I'm gonna show you that real quick deselect okay so I'm gonna draw the ball again and there we go now I'm on frame six five and I'm gonna to move to frame six and you can see what's happening is that image as I move to frame seven nothing changes I have to this is ba it's not an animation it's just I'm moved to each frame and and everything is drawing I mean I can do this by splitting the playheads you know I can split the clips and it will play but I will and I prefer to work this way actually I'm gonna delete all these okay deselect and so say I, I'll do that again I'll I'll just start at frame six 
and hit B for my brush tool. I'm going to draw a circle here. And now what I can do is split it. Playhead. Hang on. Arr, see, this is the problem that's happening. Although, like I said, it's here. But here, I can come here and I can delete that. Deselect. Hang on. Let me do that again. Deselect. Okay, I think I was on the wrong layer. Okay, so you can see this is here. And then I move to this one. Now I can draw that next line. But I'm going to turn on onion skinning. And right here in my flyout menu, it says enable onion skinning. And you see here, well, here it's black, the circle. And I move here. And now that circle is faded. So that means I'm right here on this this frame, these frames. So if I draw another circle here, and now you can see it moves back and forth. All right. But the only way I get this to work on this regular layer is to split the frame. Okay, so I have to split it. Now that's a frame. Now I'll move it to here. I'll split that's a frame. All right, but the okay, so now I'm gonna delete all of these guys. Uh, reg timeline delete yes okay now I'm gonna go up to layer video layers new blank video layer and you can see it is blue okay and it behaves differently again as I said I prefer to work with the regular layers and chop them up because visually I can see what ha where each frame is going but that's not what's happening here um like now i'm going to i'm going to start here the first frame i'm going to go to b take my brush tool draw a circle move over one you see it faded because the onion skin is on i'll draw another one next 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 and here i'm just doing a really bad straight ahead uh, drawing. Now let's see what that looks like. I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to tap on the play key. And you can see it's bouncing. And it's getting bigger so it gives the illusion that it's coming towards me. Okay, so now I'm going to tap my space bar to turn that off. Alright, so now I need to get rid of these guys. Um, cause, but you can see what I mean? Here, it doesn't show me where each frame is breaking up. I mean, where it moves, I just have to, I just know that frame, it's one frame per second, and I know, uh, I mean, it's two frames per second, and each frame, I draw a new picture. And again, that's fine, and it makes, and it's easier, but I just prefer to chop them up and in the pieces, because visually I can see it a bit, a bit better. So, but I'm going to delete that, and you see here, also to distinguish this from the other layer, is that has this little video icon right here, and this is a regular layer and it doesn't so I'm just gonna click on that and click on the trash yes and I'm gonna make a new one uh, layer and if I can find it video layers I'm right there new blank video layer and again I keep forgetting to move my playhead over okay so now we're gonna animate this ball bounce and I'm gonna move my playhead all the way to the beginning and I'm gonna tap the B key to get my brush and I am going to draw that first little section all right, and I can move over here, and you can see there's my onion skin. I'll draw that next ball, and then I'll move to the next one and draw the next one. And another thing that I can do is if I go back here, I go to my flyout menu, and there's a thing here called onion skin settings. I can click on that, and I can change the frames that it'll show me before and the frames that it shows me after, depending on what I'm what I'm doing. It it can get in the way you can see you know with too many frames or I can you know I can drop the you know the opacity things like that but I'm gonna hit OK I just want to make sure you saw that so and I'm gonna move to the next frame and we're at frame 3 and I'm gonna move to frame 4 <clears throat> and I'm gonna move to frame 5 and it appears that I forgot to uh, add a frame 5 Hang on, yeah, all right. Anyway, frame six. Well, we'll just use that whole bounce and stretch thing. So we'll make that, hope, whoops, I'm gonna hit undo. Hopefully this will squash nicely and kill up some time. Now we're gonna go to frame 
seven, eight. Actually, I'm going to hit undo. I made a mistake. Uh, seven, I want that ball to kind of get a little bit of that stretch, like it's stretching, almost like reaching for that next. And then it's going to slowly go back to a nice round shape. Okay, we're at frame 10. And make sure the ball is roughly the same size, again, as you as you move along. Okay, so, and frame one connects, so here we go. I'm going to hit the play button, and we'll see. Boing, boing. And you can see the, if I, I'm going to hit the stop button now. I, I still have that onion skinning, so in order to see this, I'm going to turn the onion skinning off. So I'm going to click on my flyout menu, and uncheck enable onion skinning and I'm gonna turn off my guide layer here I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it but I'm just gonna uncheck it now I'm gonna hit the play button yeah that came out pretty good alright so I'm gonna hit stop now and I'm going to we're gonna export this thing so I'm gonna go well, I'm just gonna export this as a gif animation it's pretty small so it should work I'm gonna go file export I can render this to video but I'm going to just go to here save for web legacy um, and and save it as a gif so i'm going to release on that file saved web, to web legacy and right here you can make changes to it um you can see it has this thing is coming out as 64 colors and down here it says this 102k we can make that a lot smaller simply because we don't need 64 colors it's black and white so i'm going to click here and i'm going to just make that four colors and uh, there's a play button around here. So here we go. I'm just going to hit the play button to see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm going to hit stop. And let's see, it's 27K. Uh, I'm going to kick it up to eight colors. Just see what that looks like. Just because it's so small, 39K. There we go. I think that looks good. Actually, I'm going to zoom out. If I can find that zoom out button. Here we go. View is 100% zoom out there we go okay so from here um, again I've changed that to color to eight colors uh, this gif noise I'm just gonna put no dither uh, dither is that sort of it fades in and gives you a little bit of texture so it blends the colors a little bit better because that's one of those things that's advantageous when you're trying to save on memory when you use less color but this thing is so small it really doesn't matter okay so from here I am going to hit um, if I hit done it would just save it but it wouldn't uh, you know wouldn't export it it would just save this these presets or these it'd save how I've if I hit done, it would just save the the settings here. But I'm gonna hit if I if I hit done if I hit done, it would just save these as uh, the settings. But I'm gonna hit save, and I am going to bring this to my desktop, and I'm just gonna call this ball bounce if I can spell, and it's a gift. And I'm just going to put images only because you can save it as the HTML and images are HTML only. But I'm just going to hit save, GIF only. And now I am going to open up a new browser. Actually, I'm on a Mac, so all I really have to do is tap the space bar and I'll get a, a nice little preview of this. If I Also, another way you can do this, again, I, I know you can do this on a PC, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it into the browser. And you can see there's my animation, a nice bouncing ball.